Power Query has literally changed my career and it's done this for so many other Excel people because it gives you a non-formula way to do amazing data cleanup and automate things for future times. So uh, for example, you can start with a table like this, which has loads of messy stuff and then have it cleaned up through a set of rules. So for example, Excel doesn't know that these three relate to Coca-Cola, these two to Facebook. Excel wants to remove the subtotals and the comments column. Otherwise, it's very, very difficult to analyze and maybe add in some other things like an if without using a formula or a range of these numbers. So you can do all of these things in Power Query and loads, loads more. So um, let's get started and I'll do a very quick demo in this. I'm gonna select this data. I'm gonna go to the data tab and choose from table or range. It might ask you to do this. You can bypass it by giving the table a name before, but otherwise it makes it into a table. Then it opens up this whole new window that's not even Excel anymore. With these four tabs, home transform, add column and view, that give you all sorts of actions that are not in the regular Excel. You cannot edit the data here. It's just about transforming the data. So you can do all sorts of things here. So for example, I can click on this column, transform, fill down. That is so hard to do in the regular Excel. I don't want the subtotals to appear. I can click on one of these and choose to remove empty. Go to the home tab and choose columns and then untick comments, for example. And then I can go to add column and choose a column for examples. So let's do this range thing. So I can do 40,000 to 60,000 like that. And then it will give me this range here. I can rename it like uh, sales range like that. Press OK. I can then go to add a conditional column. If you've ever done an if formula with loads and loads of conditions, this is amazing. If date is before. Then you have a date picker. How awesome is that? Choose your output and add some other clauses. For example, numerical, less than, or even text that contains. You can't even do that with a standard if formula. It's amazing. Another really awesome feature is that you can just change things. So you have these cogs. I can click on this and edit them. And for example, let's say I want to move the human criteria to the top. I can just move that and I see that I have different results like this as well, which is fantastic. You can also uh, drag and drop these things around if you want them before the others. Uh, you have all sorts of different transformations here. So I'm going to close and load and then it will load to this worksheet in a new worksheet. So if I make a change, then this reflects automatically. So let's say that, for example, this one becomes uh, extra and this becomes uh, Iron Man, so now it is a human. Then when we look at these two things, as I refresh them, we'll see that these have changed now. It actually goes through all the steps and does that there. Another really awesome thing is unpivot, something that is very, very difficult to do with a regular Excel. You have, for example, columns for months, Jan, Feb, March, April, and you can use Power Query to get it from that into this quite easily. So all you have to do because it refreshes, you can cut that, paste it here. Uh, this is a table feature, so it's over there. And then all I have to do is refresh this and it brings in my May results like that. Again, it has changed my career, literally all the projects I do now. I spend about 30% of my time in Excel inside Power Query. I use way fewer formulas than I used to do. So my name is David Ben and if you like this video, then give me a like button or subscribe to my channel if you want way more content on Excel, Power BI, PowerPoints, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams, etc.